So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create um, crumpled up paper. Um, so it doesn't look that realistic, but I think it looks it looks decent. Um, it's not the best in the world, but it's pretty good for making it from scratch. So go ahead and open up a new image. And I'm just going to paint my background gray. And then make a new layer. Get your rectangular select tool and just make a rectangle rectangular selection in the middle of your image and paint that in white. Then go ahead and select none, make a new layer, and set your background color as um, a light blue. Here's my HTML notation, it's 579AED in case you want to use the same color that I used. Then go to Filters, Distorts, Blinds, and remember to put this as your background color. And for orientation, put ho horizontal. Um, for displacement, uh, now this these settings might depend on the size of your image, but these are just my settings. Um, for displacement, mine is 60, and for number of segments, it's 33. Now right click on this layer and select alpha to selection, then go to select, shrink, and shrink the selection by 3. Then go to select, invert, and then grab your eraser tool and just get a fairly large brush and erase any of the excess stuff. Then you go ahead and select none. Now, as you can tell, the lines go beyond the paper, so go back to your white rectangle layer, right-click on that layer, select alpha to selection, then go back to your lines layer, which is the blue lines, go to select, invert, and just erase all of the unnecessary lines. Then you can select none. Now make another new layer get your selection tool again, your rectangular select tool. You might want to zoom in for this and just make a pretty small size selection um, about the same size as your blue lines and just make it running up and down. Make it vertical and fill that, get your bucket fill tool and just fill that in with this kind of pink, pinkish color and here's my HTML notation. It's F16D6D. And just paint that area in. Now go back to your blue lines layer. And you might want to erase the first few oops. The first few lines on this like that cuz um since on real notebook paper there's always that kind of gap right there. So you can go ahead and you can lower the opacity of both layers a little. And then go ahead and merge um, together the lot all the lines layer with the white paper layer. So it's all one layer. Now create a new layer. Go to filters, render, clouds, solid noise. And now for the X size, um put around 5 and the Y size I'm put around 5.8 and for um, check randomize and put detail to around 10. Now you might want to adjust those settings if you like uh, depending on the size of your image. Then go to filters artistic apply canvas and for depth I put 1 and for direction I put top right. Now set this layer mode onto grain merge and lower the opacity just a little. Now create a new layer and again go to filters, artistic, or filters, render, cloud, solid noise and same settings. Then go to filters, artistic, apply canvas but this time you, for depth you might want to put in two. Now go to filters Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we're going to give it a blur of 6. Now go back to your paper layer, 
and go to filters map displace now for x displacement put in 10 and then go to this drop down menu and select the um, now I have two images open so it's gonna be a little different um, and just select that layer that we just made for both the X and Y displacement and make sure both X and Y displacement are on 10 so make sure you select that layer that you just made now you can go ahead and delete the layer that we just made and as you can tell the displacement filter um, kind of distorts it and crumples it. So now go ahead and alpha to selection this. Go back to uh, the grain merge layer that gives it texture. Go to select invert and grab your eraser tool and just erase any of that excess stuff. Now you have a pretty good crumpled paper effect. Now you can go back to your paper layer, go to Filters, Light and Shadow, Drop Shadow, and give it a nice drop shadow if you'd like. And there you go, you have this pretty cool crumpled paper effect. Um, it's not that realistic, but it, it's, it's decent. And you can add text on it too, um, just do that before you distort it. So yeah, that's how you create crumpled paper in GIMP.